Hello, my name is Nibel, and welcome to a game called Would You Rather. Um, so this game, um, uh, you know, when you were a kid, how, like, you know, at least when I was a kid, me and my brothers used to play Would You Rather all the time. And like in school and stuff. So, I thought it would be fun to go back and see what questions there are now for what would you rather. So, yeah, let's get started. So, first question is Will I dress in only in style famous 15 years ago? That would be 2004? Or just only the way you did when you were 15? Well, I'm 19 right now, so, you know, four year difference. I would be a freshman in high school. The other thing I did different then was I wore jeans instead of sweatpants or overalls now. Um, but yeah, I think I would dress the way I did when I was 15 because I remember and I have pretty much the same style. 15 years ago. Um. Yeah. I don't like. I don't know what they were wearing 15 years ago. Actually. But. Yeah. Do this one. C. Yeah. Okay next one. Would I rather have an average house in the middle of a city. Or have. A mansion miles away from civilization. Okay, if anyone knows me, okay, I would rather be out in the country, you know, be out with nature and stuff. But, to so. Um, down in the comments down here, I can show them to you. It says, assume that neither, neither location would be unpleasant. Your house is your primary residence. Wait, no, I don't. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, I, basically, um, no, well, it would be pleasant either way. I mean, city is, like, crowded and stuff. At least the city I live in is. Kansas City is pretty crowded. Um, average house. I mean, and I'm assuming I get these for free. So I would have a mansion, okay, and then I would sell the mansion. And then buy an average house in the middle of the country. 63%. Okay. This one. Is. Slam your hand in every door. Or fall down every flight of stairs. Ooh. Ow. Um. I mean. I don't walk. That many stairs, that much stairs. Well, actually I do. I do it every Monday to Friday. Or slam your hand in every door. I mean, ah, uh, falling down every five stairs. I mean, you could take the elevator. That's my solution is just take the elevator. There we go. But if I have to take stairs, I mean, I don't have to take stairs that often. So I, I would rather do this. Okay, more people would slam their hand in every door. 
but just think about it. It's like, ah, uh, you would break it eventually, and then I couldn't look. So yeah. And then let's look at the comic down here. Just for the genocide, George said. Just for the comedic value, the guy get down the stair. Fuck shit, goddamn it, ow, Christ, ow, ouch, fuck. <laughs> um, let's see. Also him. He said, also escalators and elevators. So, yeah, see, I'm not the only one. <laughs> okay. Would you rather the polar gun or gravity gun? Um, portal gun. You could teleport, basically. Okay, we're going to have the same school for the next 30 years. Or we'll leave school after second grade. Me, I liked high school. I liked middle school. I liked elementary school. And right now, I'm enjoying college. So I'd stay in school for the next 30 years. I mean, in college, you can do like, I'm doing piano this semester. There's welding, there's guitar, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, stay in school. Have a Brooklyn ac accent or have a Bostonian accent. Um. I don't know what either of those are. I know Brooklyn is like New York and stuff, but I don't know what Bostonian is. So I'm just gonna go with you. Would you rather skydive or bungee jump? Okay. Wow. It doesn't. Well, skydive has to be at a certain height. Um. Bungee jump doesn't have to be a certain height. No, it could be 10 feet up. Bungee jump, if you hit on the ground or the rope breaks, then you're only falling 10 feet. If you do skydiving, your parachute doesn't go. I've never done any of either of these. Um, and what if he doesn't measure it correctly, measure the uh, rope? Because, you know, bungee jumping, you go on a bungee cord. So, what if he doesn't do that? Well, so what if you don't wear the parachutes right? I mean, first skydive, you um, go with someone else. Someone experienced. So, I'd rather skydive. I I'd probably regret it, but I'd rather go skydiving. 75 and 25. Okay. Would you rather have to skip instead of walk or run at all times? Or... Sprint everywhere you'd normally walk, run, or jog to. Um... I mean, I'm not a runner. I'd rather skip. Oh, okay. More people would sprint. Well, I'm not one of those people. Okay, would you rather find a book about everything about the past or find a book about everything about the future? Um, I'd say past because. I'm interested in the past more than the future. And plus, a book about everything about the future. I would know my future. I mean, the past right now would be only so long. The future would be huge. 
and yeah passed okay what are people saying one person said I would have to see history of class or and very helpful on how to make it If you know the future, you can be filthy rich. Okay. Well. I'd rather do past. For all your Porsche. Um. Porsche? Most people want to use Ferrari. But Porsches are cheaper and they're cheaper to insure also so yeah uh if you had to do one thing every morning would you rather need to milk yourself or laying an egg um hmm how big of an egg are you talking though is it like a quail egg because those eggs are tiny or an ostrich egg because those eggs are huge or need to milk yourself I'm not a woman, so I don't know how to do that. I'd rather lay an egg. Because, you know, it doesn't say what size. So, I'm just going to assume a quail egg. Be a guy or be a devil. Um, I'd say I'd, I'd not talk about religion on here. But, <laughs> I didn't say that. Videos wouldn't be about religion. Like this. Um. But I'm going to answer it. That's what people say. No discussion. The discussion of discussion... The discussion of discussions has begun. Okay. The discussions of the discussion of discussions is a very fun discussion of discussions and we should discuss discussions more often. Or like this one. Someone said penis. Okay. So, I like the discussion of discussions, which discusses about discussions that discuss about discussion about discussions. Um, I would be a hot devil. Though. I can't do that. You have the, for one. To must take the role of the devil to have the power to control the evil and finally end all evil although it consume you that's right there will be no devil the the devil so I'd rather well God okay I feel good on that one I don't care what you people say okay Okay, would you rather bring back someone famous who died or bring back someone you love who died? Um. Well. A lot of famous people have died. Not very many people that I've loved have died. So I'm gonna go with famous. Okay, makes more sense with that. Oh, it's just one person. Okay. I didn't read the whole question. And, down here, it says, Resurrecting a celebrity would entitle you to, at least, their friendship. No zombie appearance either. I would bring back Johnny Cash or like 
um, somewhat famous. Einstein, um, science people. Henry Ford, although I'm a Chevy person, but Henry Ford, or uh, Shelby, Carol Shelby, okay, I, I don't know this, I don't know either one, Dumbledore is like the old wizard from Harry Potter, and Gandalf is like the giant, right, yeah? Uh, I, not, I'd rather be a giant than an old dude, okay. Me known as the all-time greatest mathematician and writer. Um, if I was the greatest mathematician, that would be a good thing, or writer. Although I don't like math. So I'm gonna have to go with writer. Because math is just one subject. Writing, we can write poetry, songs, um... It didn't say what type of writer. Either. Books, you know. And writers get paid money, too. If you had to destroy a form of writing, would you rather have all non-fiction writing up until present destroyed, or have all fiction writing up until present be destroyed? Mmm. I go with fiction because we need non-fiction. We need facts, okay? If we destroy all non-fiction, how would younger generations learn what happened before 2019? Hmm? They wouldn't. So, yeah. Fiction. Plus, fiction books. I mean, I don't think based on the true story is... Fiction. I think it's non-fiction. So, yeah. Would you rather hoard or compulsively clean? Well, I'm already... I hate to admit it, but... I'm organized. Okay? I'm not either. Um... But... I'd rather clean. Okay, 82% agree with me. Would you rather play Pac-Man or play Spaces of Rangers? Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. I don't know. I mean... Oh, right now. Pac-Man. If I had to choose one for this, it didn't say for this in my life either. So, Pac-Man, right now. Um, would you rather <coughs> have your stomach pour out of your mouth? Or... Have your brain pull out of your eye socket. Oh. Okay. Um. Well. I mean. That would. This one would kill you. Okay. Having your brain pull out of your eye socket would kill you. This one wouldn't. So you would. And you would probably pass out from this. You would pass out from either of them. Um, but it says down here, all while still alive and fully conscious. So 
So, yeah. I'd rather... I mean, you would bleed out from that. Because you would have to lose an eye. No, you wouldn't. It would just pull out the eye. <sighs> now that's making my eyes hurt. Um... Well, I mean, that would pull out everything. That wouldn't pull out everything. <laughs> so, that one. Okay, stomach pull out of your mouth. I mean, that would hurt more. No, that would, because your teeth. Yeah. Okay, would you rather have no teeth or have no tongue? I mean... Okay, down here, it says... No, you cannot get dentures. They would for not be forcibly removed. You would just never have them to begin with. Um... No, so you would be born without one of them. I mean, if you have no tongue, you won't be able to taste. If you have no teeth, then you won't be able to chew. So, no tongue. Then, I would be able to take, I would be able to eat anything, basically. That I didn't like right now. Would you have the toilet paper or a house? Or a house? I mean, Toilet paper house would be good if it rained that night. Anger house. I mean, I've never done any one of these. I mean, toilet paper is cheaper. Okay, that's all I'm going off of. Okay. Oh, the pet snake, oh, the pet turtle. Snake. I've, I had a snake, I've never had a turtle, so I have experience with snakes, so, yeah. And I had a ball python. Would you rather start in Saved by the Bell or start in Boy Meets World? I've never seen that, I've seen that, so I'm gonna choose that. Okay. Would you rather be confined to a wheelchair for the rest of your life and be able to have children, or be able to walk but unable to have children? Um, it doesn't say unable to adopt, so I can adopt. Um... But confined to a wheelchair? I don't want that. Nobody wants that. I mean, yes, it's sad that people are confined to a wheelchair. Okay, it's sad. I know. But, I don't want that. I want to, and I don't want to play that but on my kids either. Just think, if you were confined to a wheelchair, you can walk downstairs, you couldn't um, run, you couldn't do push-ups, um, you wouldn't be able, like I want to do the military, I wouldn't be able to do that with that. So be able to walk. Okay.
Well, you gotta do eat 300 donuts in four hours for 500 bucks. Or drink a cup of sour milk for 50 bucks. I have sour milk. Not on purpose, on accident. Okay. It was. I mean, I had cereal with it, so. Yeah, I think I'd rather have. The 50 bucks. So, yeah. 50 bucks, please. Would you rather? Mansion in Beverly Hills. Or penthouse in Manhattan. So either California or New York. New York, it's closer to Canada. And I have always wanted to go to Canada. Communicate with M and Moors. <coughs> or be able to speak every language fluently. This one would be more useful. Although I have four animals, so, you know. This one will be more useful. Just think. Anywhere in the world. Anyone you meet. If they start speaking in a different language. You can switch to that language. Um, I had this guy at Subway. I had to pull up Google and Translate. Because I didn't know it was Spanish. Okay. That would help. I want something where I can speak every language fluently. And plus, there are like, let's see, um, let's go in here, how, okay, there are 6,500, okay. 6,500 languages. Uh, only, however, about 2,000 of those languages have fewer than 1,000 speakers. So I would be one of those people. There's a language where it's like all whistles. Okay? It's somewhere in Africa. So yeah. Or it might be in South America. I can't remember. Okay. Move away for 10 years from your family with no contact. Okay. Or live with your family for an additional 20 years after you're 18. Well, I mean, no contact. That doesn't mean I can't move with a friend. For 10 years. I'm going to do that one. Bring back Chris Farley or bring back... John Candy. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen Chris Farley in a movie. John Candy, I like. So I'm going to choose him. He was a good actor. If any of you <coughs> um, have a couple, um, if any of you haven't seen Nothing But Trouble yet, he's in that. Okay? Is Chris Farley in that too? Let's look. <coughs> Nothing but trouble. <coughs> IMBD. Um, no. Mm, he is not in that. Only drink Starbucks or only drink Dunkin' Donuts. Starbucks, you know, if I don't have to pay for it. That's the thing. Okay, last one. Have two sorts of sets of twins or quadruplets? Okay. Now last one. 
This one is the last one. Would you rather be a rock star, star or be a movie star? Um, movie star. No, rock star. Rock. That it would be easier to remember your lyrics than that would. So rock star. Ooh, if I had, if I, okay, not last one. That was an easy one. Okay, this one. Have Pokemon Be Real or Superheroes They Just. <coughs> okay, down here. It says, yes, you could be a Pokemon trainer, or perhaps a superhero. Pokemon trainer. Yes! You would not be allowed to pick your powers, which would be randomly given to selective citizens. So, like, people would be able to pick my superpowers? Um, no. Thank you. Okay. Um, but Pokemon... I love Pokemon, okay? I used to play all the time as a little kid. Um, first game I've ever played was Pokemon Platinum. I caught Garatina in that, okay? Um, I couldn't be the lead four though. So, that's what I might do next. I might do Pokemon Platinum next. As a game series. Um, and yes, I know this is my second video this week, but I have to make up for it, okay? Since I was gone two weeks in a row, I didn't upload my second video until today, but I recorded it. Um, the seventh. Okay. So yeah, I think I would be, I would have a Pokemon be real. Okay. Um, that was the last one. So, um, next time I do this, I might do Bean Boozled. And we'll have a face cam. Okay. So, yeah. Face cam. With this. I know you haven't seen my face in a little while. Um, but yeah. So, down here, comments. Okay. Uh, one Brendan says, "I may not be, I may not get to be a superhero, but I can challenge and defeat the Elite Four." And he responded. Thomas responded by saying, Would it include the fact that you can't die by fire, electricity, and great heights? Fucking Team Rocket. And then another person responded, Pokemon Masters Unite. I agree. And then... Charizard. Yes. Someone said Pikachu sucks. Okay, that is not... So yeah, imagine, I would... And you have Charizard, 
add one my favorite and platinum was possibly um what was it um so I can't remember the, the fire one What was the fire one? Um, I'm looking. I can't remember the fire one. So, you... Had the option Oh yeah, Jim Chai. So, Turtwig, Piplup, and Chimchar. My favorite was Chimchar, okay? Even though, uh, Empoleon had... Even though Piplup evolved into Empoleon, and then Empoleon was Steel, Steel was a good defense type. Uh, actually, you know what? No. My best experience was, was with Piplup. Because it, when it evolved into Empoleon, it went, I dominated everything, okay? I went, um, once I got out of the mountain, I went and, um, um, all my Pokemon had fainted except Empoleon. And Empoleon had like 10 help, 10 HP left, okay. So I went out of the cave, uh, when you go to snow point, you get out of the cave, and there, I ran, and I didn't run into any trainers. I ran into lots of Pokemon, but I went first all the time. So yeah. But, that was the last one. So, you guys like and decide if I should do this again, okay? Um, if you don't think I should do this again, just say it. I might not. Actually, I will if the only way you will get me to stop doing this is if you tell me you don't like it, or I receive a negative um, stuff about. So, I will, oh, like, subscribe, and have a good rest of the week. Do you go homework? You know? So, have a good rest of the week, and I'll see you next time.